Rick Klun is class and a living legend. And that's what we're going to talk about right now. If you like this kind of content, make sure you click that like and subscribe button. And again, thank you. It's been another fantastic month. I really cannot express how humble and how grateful I am to anyone who's watching this, has become a subscriber, who's commented, who's become, um, who's become a member, all of those things. So thank you. I really appreciate it. But if you're not a subscriber, click that button and welcome to the team. This past weekend had a lot of drama on St. Lawrence River, but one of the biggest stories was Rick Klun calling it quits. Not retiring because he's going to fish some opens, but he's leaving the Bassmaster Elites. Some stats on him. He's a four-time Classic winner. Had, has went to 32 Classic appearances. He's Angler of the Year, and he is a Hall of Famer. His Bassmaster earnings are over $3 million. And he's been a professional angler for over 50 years. He is the Cal Ripken of bass fishing. If you don't know who Cal Ripken is, I'm sorry. Rick has been in the money 314 times out of 504 events. And I'm going to read this because I cannot memorize it. He's had 16 first place finishes, 14 second place finishes, 12 third place, and 123 top 10s. Shut up! He is 78 years old and still fishing at a very high level. But I do think we could kind of see that this was happening. And I don't know if I'm using, if I'm stealing this from somebody else. And I apologize if I am, or, and I say thank you. But Rick Klun is the quiet assassin. He's not outspoken. He's genuine. He's honest and he's loyal. And I say those things with the highest regard. He isn't out there being the huge personality. However, he is the huge personality because of his fishing skills and the stuff that he has done on the water. And while he might not like it, he's on the Mount Rushmore of bass fishing, professional bass fishing anglers. And I say if bass were to ever redo their logo, which I don't think they'll ever do. If you have ever noticed the NBA logo, it has Jerry, Jerry West on it. Fantastic logo. But if Bass were to do the same thing, Rick Klun should be on that logo. He is arguably one of the greatest of all times. But what made him so special? It was the wins. It was how dominant he was, or how dominating he was over his career. And as his career started to, to diminish, he still had one or two tournaments every year where Rick Klun was in the top 10. I mean, just take for Palaka a couple of years ago, a couple few years ago. I remember after the Major League Fishing split and going and covering Palatka, and I remember him winning that tournament and thinking to myself, holy cow, this is the oldest man to ever win a professional bass fishing tournament. But if you, if you don't remember, he had an absolutely stupid day on, day on Championship Sunday. And I mean stupid. I remember Rick taking his bass from that day and putting them into the bag and Lisa saying, they're not all going to fit. That's how unbelievable it was that he not only won the event, but that he uh, that he caught that many fish. And when you look at his longevity and how competitive he was and the, the style of person and his demeanor, you have to just say Rick Klun is what we all hope young anglers can can achieve and can go. I mean, I don't think anyone can go 50 years, but... He is absolutely, he's amazing. He's, he's outstanding. And while, like I said, there was so much going on in this last tournament, I'm not sure that we gave enough credit to the man who deserves it. He's a class act. He's, he's a living legend. He is, I put him and KVD, I put KVD just slightly ahead of him. Just because KVD did so much over his career in a little bit less time. But Rick Klun deserves all of our respect. And I think that he'll have some things coming on, coming down on the pipeline that might make his fans really enjoy his next step in his professional fishing career. And I don't wanna ruin it, but I'm just hearing rumors, but it could be great. And I think one of the best things about him is he was never, he never had a lot of controversy going on. He was always a bass fisherman first, a loyal angler, an amazing angler and we never he was held to that highest regard and we never heard anything negative about him it was always positive 
It was the things that he did to get people into the sport. And really, when you look at it and you take a step back, there's probably a good portion of anglers that are watching this video fish because of Rick Clun. And that's saying something. I don't think anyone's introduced more people into fishing or the outdoors as Rick Clun. And that's a bold statement. But I think there are so many people that got interest in, into fishing because of what he has done. And we need to say thank you to him. Thank you for all of the things you have done to help grow bass fishing. And we need to look forward to what he has upcoming. But what do you think? What made him so special and why? Comment below and tell me what you think. Does he make your Mount Rushmore of bass fishing professional anglers? And will anyone ever compete at the level that he has for as long as he has? The longevity of his fishing career. That's what I want to know in the comments below. So comment below and tell me what you think. Okay, remember, take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. I will talk to you very, very soon. Cheers. Thank you. And tight lines.